What's up guys, Tatooine Ranger Senior 4 here back in another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another Ninjago set review. Today we've got 701709 J and Lloyd's Velocity Racers from Ninjago Prime Empire. So let's take a look at the box. So here we have the information, which is recommended ages 7 and up. It's got 322 pieces and the minifigures are Hansner, Lloyd, and J. And there's their poster with the Digi J cover on the top. And then there is the actual size of Lloyd and then the minifigures again. And then the Digi J cover again on the side. And then on the back, we also got the back poster and the gimmicks of the set. So yeah, let's take a look at the minifigures. So the first minifigure we will be taking a look at is the Digi Lloyd. And here is his weapon, which is his sword with the brand new game controller hilt piece for Prime Empire. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to his armor pads, get those out of the way real fast. So anyways, here we have his armor pads, which are a brand new mold for Prime Empire. They have two tan swords, um, one for each shoulder. And also comes with the health bar piece, which is two pieces for the bar and then the um, health bar itself. And he is has three lives, he is missing one. And then here is the side, which it's the problem with the armor pads are, are that they are so bulky. But yet again, it's to hold the health bar. So anyways, here is his mask, which is a brand new mold for Prime Empire, which had, it, it's green with a white bandana and a white visor with um, an L for Lloyd uh, in Ninjago language. So here, here is his um his headpiece, which here's his hairpiece also, which is not included in the set. Anyways, here we have his happy face and then his battle ready face, which he also has a visor. Anyways, on his back printing, it says Lloyd, and in, well, not in Ninjago language, but it says, it looks like it says Lloyd. Anyways, it looks like he has three motion sensors. I'm guessing that those, that's what they are. Anyways, we have three more on the front, and there is also four motion sensors on his leg piece, or five actually, and one on the belt. Anyways, he has a lime green belt. He also has a pattern on his torso. He has one dark green sleeve with a black glove and a, a lime green um, sleeve with a white glove. So yeah, um, Digi Lloyd is a really cool minifigure and yeah. So the next minifigure we have is Digi J and for his weapon we have his Kasara Gama with the video game controller hilt piece for Prime Empire. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just um, skip the um, armor pads because we already went through that with um, Lloyd. So let's just take those off. So anyways, here we have his mask piece, which is blue with the white bandana visor thing, and it has a J on it in Ninjago language for J. So anyways, here we have his headpiece, and then here is his hairpiece, which is not included in the set. Anyways, here we have his battle ready face, and then we have his serious face, which also he has the visor. So anyways, here we have his back printing, which has six motion sensors, and also has guitars and some triangles on the background. Anyways, it looks like it has a J in it and also has some triangles again. There is four motion sensors on his front torso. He is wearing a white belt with another two, two more motion sensors and there are also more triangles. Anyways, his left arm is blue with a white glove and his right arm is white with a white glove. Anyways, DGJ, pretty cool minifigure and yeah. So next up we've got Hosner, which is the villain of the set. And anyways, here is his weapon, which he uses the um, Nexo Knight's blade piece in blue. And he also has a game controller hilt piece in black and red instead of uh, black and white like the Jay and Lloyd. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and jump to his armor pads because they are different from Jay and Lloyd's. Anyways, he has black armor pads instead of white armor pads. He has two Scion Blues um, swords instead of two tan swords. And he has a different health bar piece. It's the same as same mold as Jay and Lloyd's, but it's red and he has four lives instead of three lives like Jay and Lloyd. So anyways, here is his headpiece, which is a brand new mold. It is two pieces um, as the rat head um, mold with a visor on it and black and green visor. And he also uses the um, thorn piece that we've had in several Ninjago sets and before, like for dragons and stuff like that. So anyways, here we have his torso, which he has a block of pixelated cheese. He has a motion sensor right there. He has like a like painted target on for some reason. He has like his legs are um, armored up, but they're kind of the armor is kind of beat up. He has another motion sensor and he has another painted on target. Anyways, here we have his back printing, which he has um, four, three, no, three motion sensors with a pixelated heart. And it looks like he has like um, a vest on, a black vest on. But anyways, yeah, so Hosner, he's cool, a cool minifigure. But I don't think of him as like as cool as Jay and Lloyd's um, minifigures. But still, he is still a good minifigure. So yeah. So now we're going to take a look at the accessories for the set. So anyways, we're going to start off with the Kitana. So anyways, here we're going to take a look at the sword itself. 
So anyways, it's dual molded with the white handle piece. And we also got the translucent yellow blade piece right there. And we're gonna take a look at this stand, which has a um, question mark sticker on it. And also has a um, translucent yellow piece to hold it to represent the um, Kitana. And so we, you can just slide in like that and it'll hold the Kitana. So anyways, we're gonna take a look at Hosner's um, surfboard thing, the um, hoverboard. So anyways, it's just a um, cyan blue hoverboard piece. I mean, surfboard piece with this attached to it and like this to represent like he's hovering and stuff like that. And then you take Hosner and you just put him in on like that with we'll put him on the studs. And yeah, so nothing too special. But anyways, yeah, now let's go on to the velocity racers themselves. So first off, we're going to take a look at Jay's velocity racers. So anyways, here we have this front sticker with a J on it for representing Jay's first initial. It has a Ninjago sticker right there and it says Ninja and it also has a Ninja mask right there. Anyways, here we have the um this sticker right here. I don't know what it says. We have another sticker with um Jay's first initial on it in Ninjago language. Anyways, we have this blade piece represent of representing the velocity racer in motion. And then we also have this sticker. It says dragon on it. And then there is also this sticker. I don't know what it says in Ninjago language, but I will have it up on the screen somewhere. And then here we have the cockpit, which you can just take Jay and put him in like that anyways as a video game controller hilt piece to represent the um steering controls and stuff like that and here is the gimmick for this so anyways there's a slot right here which you can take the kitana and put it in like that and it will change the modes on the velocity racer and make it have like more of a flight mode so there is that so really jace is the only one that has a gimmick but it's still pretty cool so yeah so now we're going to take a look at Lloyd's Velocity Eraser. So anyways, here we have the front, and it says uh, it has an L in Ninjago language for Lloyd's first initial. It says Ninjago, and it has a um, ninja mask um, design right there. So anyways, it has a number five right there, representing the fact that Lloyd was the fifth member of the team. Anyways, we have another sticker saying Lloyd, and it has like an E right there, and it has like a cutoff like sticker design of it saying like Dragon, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, here we have this printed piece with two alien, pixelated alien creatures. It says a ninja and it says a ninjago and has another number five and another ninja mask. So anyways, here we have these two blade pieces representing when um, Velocity Racer is in motion. So here we have the other side of the bike and it has another printed piece, as the same one as this one. And it has another sticker right here, but it says ninja and also has this symbol right here. And yes, yeah, so that's it for the design. And I'm going to actually, here is the cockpit, which has another video game controller hilt piece representing the handlebars. And you can just lift the cockpit up um, like that. And you can just put Lloyd, and I'm going to have to put my phone down for this. But anyways, you can just put this, put Lloyd in like this, and just put this down, and yeah. So, unlike Jay's Velocity Racer, Lloyd's does not have a gimmick. That's one problem, and the other problem I have with this, um, with Lloyd's Velocity Racer, is that it's so unbalanced. Like, I wish they put bigger wheels, like, on this bike, because really, this bike, it's so hard to keep it up. Because, like, every time I do that, it just wants to fall down. That's really well, another problem. That's, like, a really big problem. I don't care if they took out the, I mean, if it didn't have a gimmick, I'd rather it have, like, be able to stay up more, stay balanced. But really, yeah. But anyways, in design, the bike is really cool in design. It's just the main, pro my main problem is the fact that it just won't stay up. It's hard to keep it balanced. But anyways, yeah. So before we end off this review, I'm going to take a look at the instruction manual. So anyways, here is a book one that covers the Velocity, Jay's Velocity Racer, Hosner's Hoverboard, and the Kitana. Here's the QR code if you want to get it on, on the um, Lego Life app scan on there. Though if you have the set, you can just use your booklet, but still there's a QR code. Anyways, so anyways, this co this um, book covers bags of one and two. So anyways, what I liked, what they did with the, um, this booklet, for the booklets for this set, is that they um, include like detailed pages, like it says J, and it has a J right there. And there's a QR code to get a video on the Lego Life app. And there's also a Hosner thing, J versus Hosner. And what I liked, what they did is that they added a progress bar to show you how far you are completing the set. So there's that. And also they have this, like when you put a sticker on, it has that and like, there's more, like, I just really like how they did this. I, like, want them to do this for, like, other Ninjago sets in the future. Like, for, like, um what we're getting in the summer 2020 wave. I would like them to see this again. And then here is this back um poster 
design like um Jay and Lloyd get into the trying to get to the Kitana before Hosner. And there is another QR code to get on the Lego Life app. And then there's the feedback advertisement where you can give feedback and then win sets with Ninja Force Lloyd. And here is Lloyd's Velocity Racer um, instruction manual. And it's just bag three. And there's Lloyd's detailed page. And there's the QR code to get that video. And it also has the progress bar, of course. And let me get to the very end. And it ends off with that same poster um, as Jay's of Velocity Racer um, instruction manual. And anyways, at this time, it has all the pieces that are included in the set and has the um, feedback advertisement with Ninja Force Lloyd again. So anyways, there is also something they include with the most Prime Empire sets is this um, sticker on the sticker sheet. They include extra stickers like with Jay's um, initial first initial um, Lloyd's first initial and other stickers you can take and put them on stuff, whatever you want. And yeah, so that's going to have to end off my review for this set. Um, the problem I have with the set is that Jay's has a, um, Jay's Velocity Racer has a gimmick, but Lloyd's does not. I really wish they had a gimmick to it, and I wish that they added, um, a bigger wheel for Lloyd's Velocity Racer, because it's so, just so unbalanced, and, like, you can just barely even touch it, and it will fall over. That's really a big problem with the set. I'd rather have, um, a better, like, make it more balanced than, um, just to having a gimmick. I don't care if there's not a gimmick. I just wish this was more balanced. But still, Jay's was really good. And the design of Lloyd's was also really good. But anyways, yeah. So what do you guys think about the set? Did you guys like it or do you guys not like it? Tell me in the comments below. And I'd like to hear what you guys think about the set. But anyways, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this review. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please follow me on social media. The links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.